Hello, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Ascended Stars. Hopefully you could see the name. Your label there. This is Ali Jade. Yeah, no, barely see it, huh? Um, welcome. This is Ali Jade, and I'm going to be doing your reading for today. Very excited. We got uh, already pulled the energy for you. We do have like past life coming in, which was interesting because, you know, Uranus, well, two things, the full moon in Pisces is all about the 12th house and wrapping up past lives and all of that. And then the other thing was uh, Uranus is on top of you, like, you know, been giving you all these downloads, all this information, all these things to do, knowing uh, the curve before everybody else, the trend, the way to go before everybody else. So, um, with that being said, uh, I just want to say thank you for following and for uh, connecting here on Ascended Stars. I really appreciate you. Let's see if I can put this here. All right. So while I shuffle and um, get to the, the tarot part of your reading. So, let's see if I can get every bit of the reading into the reading. So, let's see for my Taurus Collective Spirit. Thank you so much for tapping in to the energies that they need to know prior to this full moon. Wow, that's simple. Okay. Balance. Balance relationships. Balance Libra energy. Okay. Beautiful energy here. Yamanma. Yamana. Yamana. Your mama. <laughs> it sounds like your mama. Your mama, your mama. Okay. Oh my God. Some things coming up. Five of swords. Okay. So there's a conflict um, the way, of the way that uh, Taurus is thinking. You guys are fixed signs and you think, um, you know, what, 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 it's hard to change your mind basically. So let's get into it. Let's see. You've got the king of cups. So you have somebody here that's emotionally available and ready to give you what you want. If you want it, uh, somebody here that's kind, caring, giving, receptive. And this one in particular wants to give you their cup. So this could be also the energy of what you're supposed to be doing is um, offering your cup. You be the one to break the bread, you know, show forgiveness or something like that. Yeah, five of cups. Okay, so in the past, somebody feels left out here. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Um, but more than anything, they regret. I don't think it's left out. I feel like this person is, I feel like you have been going through, uh, your memory lane and there's something that you or them, but I think it's you that you regret deeply. That's kind of cloaked. It's hidden here. And, um, it's, it's never been quite revealed or, you're keeping it still on the DL, right? You're keeping this secret to yourself or this emotion or this deed, this place, this something. Ah, okay. Fifth house is children. But uh, let's see here. The world. Okay, so this is like be guiding you to, you know, let go of this regret from the past. Okay. So it could be like you have regret about your children, about things that you've done with children in your childhood. Yes, things. Okay, so you might have a couple of regrets here in your childhood that you still need to purge away from that you are shameful for. Yeah, like actually three things. Okay, I'm sorry. There's three things here. Could be three people. You know, whatever that is for my divine feminine, it could be a lot of things. Okay, and then yeah, so you need to purge those three things to get over and get into this new emotion that's so gorgeous the world card and the ace of cups that's here awaiting for you to um arrive and then we have yeah you're going to be going on a journey this is not going to quite happen so with this full moon it's going to trigger something that's going to be illuminated it's going to make it and it's not it's only going to be illuminated to you taurus emotionally okay not like it's going to be on the on the grand um new york uh, square you know and everyone for their blast out for everyone to see it no this is this is very only you like this is going to be like a nagging thing that you just it keeps popping up spirits telling you to make peace with it you know you might have to have a ritual 
you might even have to have like a ritual like oh you know kind of like i have to burn the letter and burn it i have to write a letter burn a letter and let it go you know like that kind of thing and i know i sound like i'm i think but I, there's other ways of doing things too you know, for me, I'm, I'm, I like candle work. So you could put light a candle at 7 p.m. every night. Put a thought for this individual or, or whatever you did or forgiveness or whatever. So there's the, there's a lots of ways that you can work it out, okay? But um, you can go... There's another one that just came to my head. I don't know why, but you could go volunteer for a pet center. And that could be your contribution, you know, to be like, this is part of my... Uh, healing path on this you know because this helps me deal with that i don't know but this is this is something that is for you okay and it's personal and and it's 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 okay for it to be personal is what i'm being guided because it's like you don't you don't feel safe telling anybody and it's like um you might need a counselor you might need a counselor you might need to seek psych psychological help here you might seek you might need to seek somebody who's outside of the realm of what you you're going through so i'm also picking that up this is heavy energy damn man i did not expect this bottom of the deck balance so that's this is a huge like equilibrium balance of, of emotions here we have a lopsidedness some of you are so driven and have so much in the 3d but your emotions are messed up okay and you're you're going to be able your new emotions popping up for you you can't it's very emotional very emotional right now super super emotional Take it, just put, got you in your head. After all these emotions, going to get you in your head. You've got balance. You've got four of pentacles. Your money is stable, okay? So you guys are very, very much on your money, honey. And there's no communication coming, okay? There's no communication coming. And you're spying, you know? Either you're spying or they're spying on you. And you're dealing with somebody who is um, very greedy and uh i'm getting temperamental like they they could they could kind of like they are maybe they're this person's getting you off balance maybe this person is constantly just pulling your strings kuan yin sacrifice this per okay so this person will not sacrifice will not let up i feel i got a feeling like they put the they 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 or this could be you, like just burning the candlestick at both ends. Just go, go, go. And Venus is here. Here is your beautiful energy. Venus. Love. Okay, so maybe you're just keeping yourself preoccupied with during this love relationship. But emotionally, you're very, very unbalanced here because you haven't dealt with this situation. Um, and you need to talk about it. And what's holding you back is the past. What's holding you back is the past. There's something that um, you regret, okay? And it has to do with your self-value. It has to do with you loving yourself, being okay with it, loving yourself in the now, not in the then, not comparing yourself to everybody else, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's what we got. All right, so that's it. Why is the past treating you this way? The regret, okay? So we, I want to I wanna highlight the card that we were, we're going to be um, talking about the past. I think I put it on the bottom of the deck, didn't I? Here it is. Okay, this is the one. Five of Cups. I love this. Sorry, Sorry for the lighting, but hopefully... Um, so... Strategy... I can't say this word to save my life, you guys. I'm sorry. And you can't see it either. Woman holding a heart. Walking away. <laughs> letting go. Oh, my God. This this is a deep love. You love deeply, okay? You love very deeply. This could have been a very turbulent time in your life where you needed to make... You needed to... Um, leverage yourself okay you needed to leverage yourself and you uh had to do some you know strategic acrobatic maybe business type of work or um a scholastic professional uh in 
this is all about career to me okay for some reason this is all about career and so this is like uh either being a mom or career like but one of those two took a hold of you if you're feminine or you know whatever it is being a dad so you got caught up into something and then you but you never really truly let it you got caught up into society and status and then you never truly healed something that was from your past that you walked away from and you never truly healed you never truly let it down and, and made it like uh, like said okay i'm letting it go because you always had like some kind of fantasy or some kind of belief that you would go back to it or you know time is passing and there is no going back anymore so there's this weird reality check that you're you're dealing with that um i don't know i don't know what this is about but you got to let it go you got to let it go and so this is i guess where the best place i could put my um my healing cards I mean, my, my past life cards that I picked for you. So past life would go with the past. Okay, so let's just do this. So this is about nurturing yourself. This is about being good to yourself. This is about caring for yourself. This is about growing something, taking the time, endurance, um, the time, the strength, the persistence. And then you have the wisdom, you know. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. You have the wisdom, the, the, the unicorn. Um, you are an only one, you know, and this is about maybe past unrecreated love that you didn't heal, that you haven't had, you haven't fully healed from that past unrecreated love and the angels are with you. They're guiding you. They're helping you to, you know, um, heal your heart and ships. So you're going on an emotional journey. Okay. So this is definitely about tapping into the emotions and then letting go. So saying, Hey, let's have some tea. Don't be afraid of these emotions and the fears and the, whatever it brings up. But you have to initiate it. You have you can't run from it anymore. It's no there's no running from it. Look at that. There's no running from it anymore. It's there. You need to face it. Okay, but don't worry, the angels are here helping you out. So this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. And then let's look at what your person wants to say to you. Okay, this is the part where I say, What does your person want to say? Um, if they could, what would they say to you? We got freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Now, this is Uranus on top of your fixed Taurian energy of Earth. Um, giving you, like, all this information, like, how you how do you have to free yourself? And this is emotional freedom for you right now. But uh, cooperation. So, if you're emotionally, like, clucked up, what do you call it? Uh, constipated, emotionally constipated, then how can you have cooperation with others? Because that represents relationships, believe it or not. Like, you not releasing your emotions is kind of related to relationships. Well, in Chinese medicine, it is. So, um, so you not being able to let go of emotions. Like, people are really getting high, highly intuitive, highly uh, in tune with their emotions. So, if you're only going to meet a certain level of... Uh, cooperative people with you and then you cap it out because you're not re re reaching your emotions you're also meeting others who are going to be in that same vibration so this is okay but this is this is um your person says that they appreciate how you are you are a free thinker and freedom cooperation in your quest to manifest the energy of love you realize that every person and, and experience has value See, this is not wanting to let go of something like you you're being resentful you're being like oh they should have done this or i should have done that like you you there's an imbalance here emotionally that you need to let go and and you need to be like i did my best i tried my best and it didn't work out it didn't work out it just wasn't meant to be you know i, I went off and got married had 2.5 kids a dog and the house with somebody else and I'm, I love that person, but yeah, it wouldn't have been great to be with somebody from, you know, my high school sweetheart. You know, it's like you need to, you need to understand that, that it is what it is. You know, it's like, it's so sad though. It's kind of sad, like a real kind of deep, deep, deep emotion in here, like a, like a stone in my heart. Yeah. There's, there's so much loyalty to this energy that you have to your past connection. And you're, and you know, I feel like your other person feels this way too like they're like it was such a great time with Taurus it was such a great moment when we shared those memories and what we did together and how cool it felt yeah yeah integrity okay um why is integrity here breathe breathe so okay so there's a pull to the past there's a pull and a nostalgia to your past and it is very tempting, okay? Um, now, there is a wave of Taurians that it already has happened where the past has tempted them 
And it, believe me, it ain't no fun. It ain't no fun going back to the past. If it didn't work out, like a Scorpio, which is your polarity, just psh, cut it off. Cut it out if it didn't work out the first time. The Scorpio knows, like, hey, you only move forward. You only make progress forward. But there is this nostalgic feeling here. And this nostalgic feeling is really like making you doubt your loyalty with somebody. And you just got to breathe it through because you're so emotional. And I feel like it almost is because you don't want to face some certain emotions. And you don't want to be vulnerable, perhaps, with a partner. Gosh, man, this is intense. All right, so let's get you your angel cards. We're at 15 minutes in. Yeah. All right, so this is, this is your future cards. I do not want to forget that at all. All right, so this is, um, okay, so yeah, like when I say you can only go forward, you can only go up, okay, only up from now, you rain, look at the beautiful colors, these are the same, uh, collaboration of colors here with the blue, so breathe, this is your lungs, this is having peace, finding places, uh, that are peaceful to you, this is your root chakra is out of whack. It came in upside down. So I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. Wow. So this is like, um, there is some stuck energy. Yeah, this has been coming up from my divine feminines. Okay. And it came out, it came out, but like if you have trauma, you know, that's happened to you. Um, whether that's uh, stillbirths and things like that. This is part of that energetic that is still, you're holding on to it. So you have to do a ritualistic thing of like letting it go. An Epsom sea salt bath, ritualistic, like with the intention for just to release this energy. This is very deep. Yeah, so this is, con this, this that, that, okay, because it's, it's all the yoni energy here. Look, it's all lit up. So it's reversed. So, um... Your, your menses might be messed up, you know, you have painful menses, and your emotions are messed up. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, uh, Chinese medicine is one of the best for women's menstrual issues, because they don't, they're very natural, they don't use, and I'm not a doctor, not a licensed doctor, but I'm telling you, they, but okay, regardless, regardless, this is that type of energy, so you're going to be releasing all that. See, and that's why you have the angels helping you. Let's see what else. Chakra clearing. And this could be the masculine too. Like the masculine could have had the, their divine feminines, you know, have to say goodbye to some uh, potential life that could have come onto the earth too. And and you, you need to make peace with that as well. You know, you need to like envision that divine feminine and send her love too. So don't think that this is just a one-way street. Chakra clearing, Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric geometric shapes. Okay, so we have uh, music, all right, and we have courage, 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 inner healing, inner calling, <laughs> inner healing and inner calling. So I don't know if I if I got the book for this, did I even get the book? Yeah, so number two is important, so making choices. And I guess I'll just read you number two and see what it says. So with number two, inner calling, you can choose to see your brightest challenges at your best opportunities for inner change and growth. The trials and ordeals we experience in life are actually necessary for our soul's evolution. Take a moment to reflect back on past difficulties and identify how those experiences have made you stronger and wiser. Now, turn your attention to the present and remind yourself to take the drama out of your challenges and try to see how they are serving you. Okay, we're almost done. And the affirmation says, I choose to see challenges as ideal opportunities to work on my inner self. I look for the blessings in all situations in past and present. I am connected to the positive aspect of my experience. Now, let's not forget these future cards. So the first one was Dr. Emoto, and I got this one. It says, 
spirit okay so this is beautiful power spirit so this one came out so you have a strong spirit here have patience this is for your future there's passion that's going to be returning to you maybe it hasn't been passionate for you lately and with this passion is with new love a new love is coming okay for some of you if you're married it could be another baby yeah i'm almost picking that energy up so that's also a new love um okay honey bunnies take care thank you so much for watching ascended stars if you want to give it a thumbs up i appreciate you until next time enjoy uh the month that we have and the energies that we're dealing with take care bye, -bye.